could soon be paying more for your groceries, and lawmakers say it's part of a plan to boost the state's economy. News 13's Jeannie Dwin is here to explain. Jessica, I spoke to shoppers today who say a food tax is a bad idea, but the representatives behind the proposal tell me it has to be done. It's been about 10 years since New Mexicans had to pay taxes on food. But in a meeting today, Representatives Bill McCamley and Jason Harper unveiled a bill to bring back the food tax. It's part of a plan to rebalance the tax code to fit the modern economy. They promise the overall effect won't increase tax revenue for the state. We're doing it in a revenue neutral way, so we're not raising taxes. Um, we're, we're basically redistributing out the system. The food tax would be offset by reductions on income, property, and corporate taxes, to name a few. But shoppers we talk to hate the idea. It's uh, just a way to, to pick more poor people's pockets. I, I definitely am against it. Some people can certainly pay it without any problem, but some, most people can't. And I think it just makes it nicer for New Mexico to not have that. But Representative McCamley says people need to remember other taxes will be significantly less. What happens is at the very, very least, you come out even because you're getting the set amount of money you would have spent on food tax anyway through this program. But you got to remember, you're also paying less of a tax on everything else that you're buying. Organizations like New Mexico Voices for Children warn a tax like this would ultimately hurt families. We know already that over a quarter of our children are food insecure, number one. And number two, New Mexicans have shown that they simply don't support taxing food. It's not the right way to raise revenues for our state. But Representative Harper insists his goal is to help New Mexicans with a plan they say will boost the economy. We're being very cognizant that we're not going to be um, hurting those those folks that, that are suffering right now. And we're, we're actually making a conscious effort to help them. Both representatives tell me this proposal is still in the early stages. They haven't finished writing the bill, and they are unsure when it would go to vote. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Jeannie. Now, if this bill passes, the tax on food would be at around 4%.